Well, this is interesting here. If we read this, it says the letters, the, 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 the 42 letter name of God associated with Bina. Bina is Saturn. The last letter of the Hebrew, blah, blah, blah. blah. And then it says it, it's called Tau, or, or which translates into IP. IP is an IP address. Here we go again, see? Once again, here we have the internet connected with Saturn, and now it's the name of God. See, something's going on here. I'm sure that I'm onto something. Because Tau or Tevs translate in, translates into IP. I mean, come on. What's really, what's really going on here? Okay, so here, we, here it says spelled Tau or Tav spelled IP. So you have IP. Well, that's, I, that's, that's the IP address. But let, let, I wouldn't research this further. And it, it's, it's even more interesting because it's, it, that's the translation to IP. But in, but in Hebrew, it looks, it looks different. So let, let me just bring that up. Okay, here's Tau. The 22nd letter of the Hebrew alphabet, translated as, as T, also spelled T or Tav, like the, the other article said, spelled out, now that symbol is IP, or the Tau cross, which is the X that you see for Saturn, and here it designates it's the planet Saturn. And this is for, di for additional correspondences, see Saturn. So, and the XX1, one, it would be 21, the world, we're in the 21st century. So, um... You know, this Yasad and Malkuth, those are other dimensions, but um, do, you, do you see where this is going? It all keeps revolving right back to Saturn. And what they're saying is this thing has got in it, but for all intents and purposes, it's a freaking machine. It has to be. It absolutely has to be. It can't be anything else. It's a, it's a machine with, 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 it's a living machine. This is the very first computer that was operational that was made right after World War II. It's called ENIAC, which is really interesting because there's only two people in the Bible that, that didn't die of physical death, Enoch and Elijah. Enoch, Enoch, hmm, hmm. And let's see, Enoch in the Bible was the one that, that was a go-between for the fallen angels, which obviously came from Saturn. And so... God liked him so much that it said that he just vanished, that God took him. He didn't die a physical death. So here we have a computer named Enoch, or Enoch, and you have a man named Enoch. It's a little more than a coincidence. You know, at some point, things stop being a coincidence and they become evidence. You know, and this, just, this is just going completely along with the storyline. Again and again, if I'm proving it to nobody, I'm proving it to myself. This is the artist's rendition of uh, Enoch. If you look, look at the very top in the circle right above his head, you'll see an X in the circle. That's time and space. You see it? Right above it, very the top of his head. If you look where his left ear is, you see where the moon is? Okay, and you can see that, it, that it's, a, it's mechanical, it's a machine, but it's still a computer. And if you look in the back, look behind the, the form, you'll see that there's writing in Latin. Okay, so whoever whoever drew this picture, again, the, there's people out there that know what the truth is. Um, if you notice the eyes, the eyes are, are cubed, just like that picture of uh, Glenn Beck. But it's a machine. So we have, we have Saturn at the top. We have Moon where the left ear is, or would be the right ear. I'm sorry, um, where where his right ear would be, and then the information is going out the other side. And if you remember the little the little schematic I drew, you know, with Saturn being the computer of 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 the, of the cube that which we live in, then uh, you, you'll understand. I'll put it up again here right now. Okay, so here we have the, the schematic I drew. The computer is, is Saturn itself, or the time cube, um, because that's what sets what goes on down here is by what goes on up there, as above, so below. It's powered by the sun. Uh, it, this, the moon is, is a communications interface which is also powered by the sun um, the virtual reality that we live in is, is called earth and that's why we're a prison planet you know when Alex Jones says you know prison planet he's not referring to the governments 
It's because it's because the Saturn regulates everything that goes on down here. It's it's the way it is. Jesus said, "I'm not the ruler of this world." It's Saturn. It's Satan. You know, those names are just interchangeable. Um, the information comes from Saturn. It goes to the moon, and it comes down here to Earth. This is, in my opinion, and it's only my opinion. This is not to sway anybody's religious or spiritual beliefs. I think this is how the system works. There's just too much evidence saying that this thing is a is a machine. And even the Jews, once again, I'll, I'll say, they say it's a spiritual numerical entity. Well, what, what entity has numbers in it? The computers do. That's all I can base this on, unless there's something else. I mean, this is just a schematic I drew just from bits and pieces and information. But it goes from Saturn to the moon to the Earth. Like, once again, like I said, I'm probably completely wrong, but it, it, it's nothing else. It's some nifty artwork. <laughs> And here it is to tell you that ENIAC's descendants are, gr are great computers and uh, whatnot. Um, you know, the Bible talks about the watchers. They watch everybody. Well, what are they referring to? You know, first of all, are we in a time loop? Because this is kind of alluding to that. Um, the watchers, what, they're computers because we're linked up to them. They know everything that we do. It's just a theory. It's only a theory. Well, here we go. I started checking around to find out computer systems that were linked to Saturn. I come up with one called Unix. Now, this is interesting. Uh, Saturn is Saturn is is a is a male female planet. In other words, it's 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 at odds with itself. Uh, Unix Unix were sexless, and that's where androgyny comes from. Uh, so we look at this. This is a Unix system, and what do they got? They have a big black X, which represents Saturn. You know, I mean. Once again, the big black X, you know, that's your tau or your, your you know, uh, your crossing T, you know, which is an X, which, you know, you read earlier in, in the video, it represents the planet Saturn. So here we have another computer system, aside from the browsers that I showed you went back to Saturn. Now this one, Unix, uh, goes back to Saturn itself. It's very, very interesting, very compelling. And speaking of the machine, yes, you remember this video? Well, he's got a black X on his mouth, just like the computer's logo has a black X. Interesting. Okay, so here we are here. If we, we The universal symbol, you've seen it a million times. Look at the way it's written. They, they, they stretch out the word universal. Uh, over the planet and it creates the illusion of it being Saturn but what's interesting is if you take that word universal and you squash it down then you wind up with this if you squash it down you get Unix forwards backwards reversed upside down and interesting in the middle it makes a cube so something's something's being said here am I on the right track I don't know did this you'll have to make your own decision it's, it's, all this stuff is very compelling. Once again, it's not designed to change anybody's mind. I still personally believe in Jesus because I think he's the only one that came down into the machine or into the program and beat the machine at its own game and offered us a way to get out. Okay, that's my belief, and I will not throw that away. And then, so then I, I run across this. You know, I, uh, let's repair it then, do a remote ping from Mars to Saturn. Well, a ping is when you go from point A to point B and it tells you what the time is. Why are they using planetary bodies as nodes, as connecting points? See, I, I don't understand that. Verify Mars IP address for Saturn for me. See, this is all very suspect. This is not out of a movie. This is not out of a play. This was out of a manual. Something's going on. It's not hard to read between the lines. I just wanted to put this in there so that you guys would get the gist of it. Now, the information on the left is really not, it, it doesn't really mean anything to me. It's the information on the right where it's listing what? Mars, Saturn, Jupiter. You know, once again, why are they using connecting points named after planets? It's because I really think that they are firing this in between planets. Because if, if Saturn is a spiritual numerical entity, 
than the rest of those planets which are the, on the Kabbalistic tree of life. Each one of those is an entity itself. And a different entity which would explain all of this stuff with the UFOs and all that other stuff. But the big dog, the big dog is Saturn. But it is not God. It's not God. Saturn is, is, is what creates all of our laws in, in, in our, our laws of justice on this planet. And I'm pretty sure that in Revelations, the black the, of the four horsemen, the black one which carries the scales of justice, is Saturn. Because that's, that's, that fits that to a T. The red one is Mars. The pale one is the moon, which is death. And then the, the last one is Neptune. So, you know, this leaves, still leaves a lot of questions, but, you know, I think I've answered some, I hope. If nothing else, it would make a great science fiction movie. And to end the video, this is the Hebrew letter, and it represents pi squared. And we know that this, the symbols go back to Saturn. You know, I mean, this just goes on and on and on. This is not my last video, but, you know, um, I just wanted to give you guys a, a little bit more in-depth of what's going on, how religion is mimicking or covering for, for the actual truth. Um, once again, it does not mean that Jesus didn't exist. It doesn't mean the people that believe in religion are bad people. It's very good people in every religion. But I'm just trying, I'm just following a trail of breadcrumbs, that's all. And thanks for paying attention.